we are officially 50% in the year. Six months in, 50%. That's crazy, man. How has that already happened, honestly? But before we move ahead, I want to reflect on the past a little bit. I want to reflect on the past six months that we lived in 2022. How were they? Were they difficult? Were they a breeze? You probably had many ups and downs throughout the year. And I want you to reflect how you lived through those experiences, how you lived in the ups and how you lived in the downs. What did you do throughout those times? Now let's rewind back to the beginning of the year to where you probably had a new year's resolution. And I just want to ask you whether it was going to the gym, whether it was starting a healthier habit, whether it was cutting out alcohol, whether it was cutting out smoking. Think of what you said you would stop doing or what you would start doing to better your life at the beginning of the year. And I just want to ask you this. Are you still in the gym like you said you would? Are you still on that healthy diet that you said you would maintain? Do you still consume alcohol on a weekly basis? Are you still on social media 24-7? If you have kept up with your New Year's resolutions to this point, it's 50% into 2022. I would like to congratulate you because that's not something many people do to this point in the year. Actually, only 9% of people actually keep up with their New Year's resolutions. So shout out to you if you've done that to this point. It's like I'd be going to the gym in January and I see all these new faces, bro. Everyone with these with these dreams of achieving the body of, of that they've always wanted. Everyone having all these aspirations and whatnot. By March, I don't see these people ever again. Swear to God, you can ask anyone that ha that literally happens. People start going to the gym January with their New Year's resolution in mind. And then they lose a little weight, they gain a little muscle, and then they just disappear from the face of the earth. Why is that? It's because of their mentality. Now, I want you to take a look at yourself from the end of last year to this point. How, how do you compare to your older self? Do you still find yourself partaking in the same habits you used to partake in in the beginning of the year? Are you basically saying you're the same person or have you changed throughout those six months? If you think you're the same person from six months ago, why haven't you made an effort to develop and upgrade yourself to become a better version of yourself? It's been six full months in 2022 and you haven't developed a single bit. On the other hand, if you put in work throughout those six months leading to this point today, you must have gotten results right now that inspire you to go even harder towards your goals. Six months is actually a very long time, and most people aren't using that time wisely. Most people just work, sleep, and consume in a cycle, and the next thing you know, they wake up and six months have passed, and they're the same person they were six months ago. As a plant, you develop 24-7 until your death. That's the full cycle of life. As a human, you must develop yourself until your time comes. And if you still find yourself partaking in those destructive habits that you found yourself doing six months ago, or you still find yourself the same person that you were six months ago, there's no need to worry. There's six whole months to finish off the year. And that six months can really make an impact on your life. We've already lived through the six months of 2022, but we have a whole nother six months to actually go at it hard and live the life you've always wanted to live. And if you already put in the work in the first half of the year, I want you to go double as hard in the second half of the year so that you can get double the results. But now that there are six months in the year, I want you to treat these six months like no other. Go harder than ever. Achieve the goals you've ever wanted to. Restart your New Year's resolutions. Start hitting the gym. Start using social media less. Whatever your New Year's resolution was at the beginning of the year, restart it. Who cares? I don't know why we've got to wait a whole year to start these resolutions or good habits to improve on one's life. It's really weird, but there's no need to wait to be the best version of yourself. Stop waiting on the New Year's resolution or whatever to build these good habits into your lifestyle. It's always, I find it weird that everyone wants to wait months till january or whatever to start going to the gym or to start eating healthy or to cut out alcohol if there's uh, out of their diet why not just start now if you're that committed to it just start now and stop bullshitting with these six months leading into 2023 i want you to be a completely different person going into the new year i want you to be unrecognizable i want your habits to be unrecognizable and i want you to look at yourself in the mirror and be like damn I really did this and looking back, I'm really glad I put in the work to be the man I am today. If you take action after watching this video, you will thank yourself in the long term. Trust me. All it takes to get those results of your dreams are discipline and effort. Put in the work and everything literally comes naturally. Trust the process. If you can't believe in yourself, then literally no one will because everyone's invested in their own lives already believing in themselves. So it's literally up to you. I'm going to challenge you. I want you to comment down today's date, exactly today's date, and then comment down as well 
six months, exactly six months ahead. So, so let's say today's uh, f- December 5th. I want you to comment down exactly six months later. So that'd be January, February, March, April, May, June, June 5th, December 5th, June 5th. And then tell me your progress, what you have done differently in life, how you've lived through life differently, how you've changed as a man, etc. As time passes, I want you to come back to this video and update me and the viewers so that you can influence other people as well. Update that comment with your lifestyle change, your goals, what you've achieved, etc. We are a community here and in a group, you always push each other to do the best. You always push each other to achieve everything possible. That's the beauty of working together in a group. You get more results when you work in a group. But if you don't decide to take on the challenge, then that's fine. But I don't want you coming back to this video wondering why you haven't gotten any results in life or why you're not living the life you've always wanted to live. Life is a battle of you against yourself. You are your worst enemy and you are your best friend at the same time. Once you conquer yourself, nothing will be able to stop you.